What is going on guys and welcome back to another John Boat build video. So in the last video we got this fuse block screwed into the bench here and then wired up to the battery. I just took off the positive end that way I can work on attaching some wires to this fuse block. So I got the bilge pump and the back nav light wired up ready to go. Let's get started. So now I got ring terminals on both the negative and positive wires. I got the positive wire from the fuse block plugged back into the battery. And now you see two lights are turned on. What these lights are, it means that there's a blowing fuse. It's on because there's no fuse in there. But I got some fuses here. I'm gonna go ahead and test out the nav lights and the bilge pump. So I do have stickers already on this case. So as you can see, the bilge pump is the third one. I plug that in and the bilge pump turns on. Now we have the nav light. And there is the nav light. On, off, on, off. Okay, so everything runs great. Now I just need to add this kill switch to the positive wire going from the fuse block to the battery. In the last video I talked about where I'm gonna put it and I decided to put it right here. I'm gonna have to go build a base for it and that way I can glue the base to the side of the boat and those bolts will not be touching anything or any metal. Okay, so I got the lid on. It's pushing down on the wire. The wire is running out the box where it needs to run out. So now I just need to cut this wire in the right spot. So it's gonna go about right there. Okay, so now I can go ahead and add the ring terminal to this end. It's gonna look just like that. Okay, so there is the first one. Now I need to do the same thing to this wire here. There's some mail. My sister just dropped the mail off as I'm filming, and I just got my boat title in the mail, so that's awesome. It's getting more official every day. Okay, so now we have all the ring terminals on the positive wire. The kill switch will go on just like that. On the back side, I'll bolt them on. And then that will give me the ability to break this circuit whenever I need to. Okay, so I realize I'm missing a step here. I was messing with the uh, fuse right here and it was turning on. I was like, wait a second, that's not right. I still need to install the switch panel. So I have a six switch panel here and these positive wires need to run to the switch panel and then to the fuse block. Okay, so I just tested it out and this is all gonna fit great. Now I need to go in the shop and build a little base for this. It needs to have a hole on the side to let the wires in and connect to the bolts, but also needs to be tall enough to get these bolts off of the side of the boat. So. In the last, or the second to last video, I built this. This was going to be for the transom riser, but I had to build a new one that was bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and try and use this. It should work out great. I found this cut off piece in the shed, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. All right, so now we have the base cut out and drilled out. Now we we'll just need to drill some holes on the sides and that will be where the wire runs into. So there is the base all built out, screwed on. That is going to go 
right there. And I will five minute epoxy that to the side. The wires will run into that and I'll be able to kill my power from right there whenever I open this hatch. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna go ahead, unscrew all this, get it connected to the wires. So we got the kill switch down here. We got all the wires installed. It's connected to the battery and we have power. And if I kill the switch just by turning this to the right, no power. So kill switch works great. I'm gonna leave it like that for now because later tonight I'm going to paint that. And I'm also going to cover everything that is exposed on the inside of there with some liquid tape. All right, so I got the deck pushed back. So here are the hatches. We got one here that shows the battery and the fuse block. And over here we have the battery and then the battery charger. So that is the back deck. Looks pretty freaking good. Okay, so it is now nighttime. It is in the dark. I got a LED strip right here. I think it's 26 inches long. But that's basically going all across the front of the John boat. Um, I'm kind of playing around with this. Also got these little six LED strips as well that aren't as bright as this. But I was thinking putting one here and that way we can see at night. So obviously it would be better if it was like way up here. It would shine more on the deck. But uh... There's no way to install a light that high. <laughs> so right there would be good. I have one more, I bought two. I got my kayak battery out here just to test it, see how bright it is. It's pretty bright. All right, so I went ahead and got this one stuck on. This 3M tape is actually freaking amazingly strong. I'm not even gonna have to screw in the screws. There's a screw hole on each side. And it's so strong that I'm not, it's moving the boat. I mean, come on, it's moving the boat. <laughs> so, uh. I'm not gonna screw it down. I don't think I'll need to. If it ever starts to come off, I'll screw it in. But for right now, it's uh, temporary and it's sticking. But uh, I tested the angle and straight up like that seemed to be the best angle. I got the most light on the deck. So I stuck it on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick on this next one right here. Bam. All right, so now we have two installed. I actually really like that and I want it to match over here. So I'm going to wait and buy another one of those and stick it on over here. That way it's all symmetrical. But I really like that. Looks good. It's pretty bright. Okay, so now we have all of the wire wired up to the front nav light. I had to drill a hole through this framing right here to get to the side and now it, it can shoot under and follow that rib all the way down to the back to the battery. So now I'm going to do the same thing to this wire here. Hook up some 14 gauge wire. I went ahead and plugged in the front nav light make sure my wiring is correct and it works great. These things are a lot brighter than what I was thinking. <laughs> I thought they were gonna be pieces of crap, but they're pretty bright. Okay, so I decided to put the switch panel right here. I mean, it's really the only spot. 
If I throw it anywhere over here, I'm gonna have to run a lot more wiring and I just don't wanna do that. I would hate to run out and I have to order more and wait another week. So I cut out a template in cardboard and it has to be right there. But that's perfect because it's right by the fuse block. I can easily run all the light wires to here and then straight to there. So it will be super easy. And I just realized that these decals are glow in the dark. So that's pretty cool. I'll be able to see those in the dark. They were white when I put them on. I came out here this morning and they're green. I was like, what the crap? <laughs> but pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this square right here. Okay, so there is how the switch panel is gonna look. Looks pretty clean. Man, that's gonna look good. Looks good. So this is a six panel. That's uh, so all it has is just six switches. They have some panels that have like the cigarette lighters and the USB cords. And I just really didn't want that. It didn't feel necessary at all. It just felt like a waste. So I just went with this one. I can always add more down the road if I need to add more stuff. But right now, six switches will work out just great for this boat. All right, time to wire up the switch panel. Okay, so I got it all wired up to the fuse block. We have fuse in there and we have power. Now I just need to run all of the LED wiring to over here, under here and connect it to this. Run it to the fuse block, connect the fuse and then we're good to go. I already have the back nav light and the bilge pump here ready to go. So I'm gonna start with those. So I started installing the LEDs on the inside of these hatches. I got one done, it will look like that. And then I will have light inside the hatch. Of course, this wire will be hidden, it'll be up in there, but I just have it connected to my kayak battery, so that is why you see those wires. But there's one. I'm adding one here, one in there, one on this beam, and then one on that beam. So we'll have four lights inside here. But I'm going to go ahead and continue putting in those lights. I'm not going to film it just because I'm like my body's hanging halfway in the box and you can't even tell what I'm doing. So, Okay, so now we have all four lights screwed in. They're actually pretty bright too, so they'll work out great at night. But now I need to connect all of these wires, run it to some 14 gauge wire, and then run that through here. Ah! 